Hi everyone, happy Monday and welcome back to Find Your Inner Sparkle with Adele and today it's Movement Monday. So I'm going to share with you a really simple 10 minute routine that you can do if you're um, often finding yourself in a seat hunched over a desk or a computer and you want to just ease out tension throughout the day in the neck, the shoulders, the wrists, that kind of thing, the back. So you can do this sitting on your chair or you can go ahead and sit cross-legged on the floor. If you're on a sofa, just inch yourself to the edge so that you can sit with straight spine so you're not slumping in your seat. So the first thing we're gonna do is sit up straight. So that means elevate the spine, lift through the crown of the head, and drop the shoulders down, take a breath in. And out, release the shoulders. And again, in. And out. Good. Now we're going to keep the spine long and just drop the chin. So that means not rounding the back here. We're going to keep those shoulders pulling back, keep the chest forwards, just drop the chin. And we're going to do some semicircles with the chin along the collarbones. So sweeping across the chest, up to the right, sweeping across the chest, up to the left. Sweep across the chest to the right. Keep your chin close to your chest, back up to the left. Good, back to centre. And then we'll look forwards and then raise this, the gaze to the ceiling and just open the throat. Back to centre and down. So with this movement, we want to be careful that we're not kind of really just throwing the head up. So it's a nice slow movement listening to what's going on in your body, easing your head back and down. And then back to center, good. And now we take the fingertips to the shoulders and we just round the back a little bit, bring the elbows forwards, take them all the way up and on a big breath in, pull them back and down. So elbows go forwards, Lift them up, open the shoulders, and it should feel really good back and down. Let's do two more, inhaling. So it's really good, it's like a yawn in the morning, opening the shoulders, pulling the elbows back and down. Last one, inhaling up, back, and down. Perfect. Okay. Now we're gonna just move more into the spine. So we'll inhale and we'll pull the shoulders back, tilt the pelvis forwards and open the spine, look up. And then we'll breathe out and we'll round the back. So you're rounding three. So this is called a seated cat cow. So you're inhaling, you're arching forwards, tilting through the pelvis, pulling the shoulders and the elbows back and opening the throat. And as you breathe out, we're creating this C curve in the spine, folding onto the knees and rounding through. Inhaling, looking up, and exhaling, rounding through. Keep going, breathing in, and out. In. And out. Last one, inhale. Exhale. Good. Now back to centre, we're going to give the hands, fingers and wrists a little bit of love. So oftentimes we've got the fingers curled like this, so we want to just stretch through the fingers. So we're going to make little fists and then we're just going to make really big stretchy fingers as we reach the arms out. So fists and then stars, fists, stars, fists, stars, make fists and then stretch out stars. And we'll just go a little bit quicker. So we'll just make this movement faster, but keep that really nice stretch through the fingers. Keep going. Keep breathing. Good, good. Keep 
go in, stretch and squeeze, stretch and squeeze, stretch and squeeze for five, four, a bit faster, three, two and one and then shake it out. Give it a nice shake and a nice release and then we'll do some circles. So take the thumb on the inside and just curl the fingers around and nice easy circles with the wrist. It's a really good little desk based routine that you can do, circling round and go the other way. Keep breathing, remember to breathe. Good, and then we're going to take the fingers of one hand and just stretch them back, stretching the front of the arm here. And the other side, stretch the fingers back, stretching the front of the forearm. Very nice. And then we're going to stretch the other side of the arm. So we're going to take that arm this way and stretch the fingers back, stretching the top of the arm. Ooh. Play around with the position of the elbow as well spiraling it in, spiraling it out and just notice where you feel that stretch and that tension, change sides. You can kind of do this with your hand down on your knees as well, you could do both at once then. If that makes sense, just resting the hand on the knee, pushing the, the wrist forward, just be careful with your wrist, be really gentle. So give it another shake out. Okay, then we can do a twist, so we can take the right arm up and back, if you're sat on your chair, you can just take it onto the back of the chair, opposite arm to opposite knee, and just gently turn into that twist, so we're just rotating the spine here. Good, back to centre, we'll reach the other arm up and back. Opposite hand goes to opposite knee and just turning gently into your twist. So try not to pull too much, just gently turn to look over that shoulder so you're getting a nice rotation through your spine. Good, back to centre and then the last movement with the spine. So we've done some flexion, extension, rotation and then it's good to do a lateral movement. So we can just side bend over to one side. You can go into this as deep as you like. I'm just gonna do a little side bend so I don't disappear off the camera. And if you want to, you can keep the hand down and just work with this side to side. Yeah, your arm just gonna add a little bit of extra weight. And then reaching the other arm up and over. Breathe into it. And then bring your hands back onto your lap. Straight spine. Gently close your eyes and just take a few rounds of breath. And notice how you feel, notice how your spine feels, your neck, your shoulders, your wrists. Relax your belly. And then when you're ready, blink your eyes open. And we're done. So it's a really nice short desk based sequence that you can integrate into your day. You could do this two or three times in the day. Once you've kind of got the movements, you'll just be able to whiz through the sequence without actually even having to come back to the video. So I hope you've enjoyed that really nice, simple movement Monday video routine today. And I will see you all again soon. Pop back into, if you're watching this in the Facebook group tomorrow for our breathing. Um, and I'll also try and remember to pop that into the YouTube channel as well. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.